Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne and uh, this is a message, uh, Personal Prophecy for Grace. I just dedicate this to the Lord. Dear Father, I pray that you'd give me the words for grace, uh, words to encourage her, to inspire her, to lift her up and to uh, help her on uh, towards the journey that uh, she's uh, uh, headed upon. In Jesus' name I ask, Amen. Um, first of all, Grace, I I get the picture of a swimming pool and I feel that um, you're a person who uh, brings joy to people uh, as a swimming pool does. Um, you can see a swimming pool full of young children and adults uh, splashing around and having fun. Um, I, I feel that uh, you've got that aspect of the swimming pool that uh, you bring joy to people even though um, sometimes you may deal with a bit of depression um, your outlook and the way that you treat people um, is always uh, one that uh, creates joy and encouragement in people. You've got a real uh, gift um, that you exercise very well of encouragement. Uh, everywhere you go, uh, you find a reason to encourage people. You find uh, parts of people and aspects of people that uh, you can encourage. And uh, you're um, very good at it. Uh, you're very good at lifting people up and encouraging people. Um, and uh, you're a fun sort of person to be around and uh, one that uh, brings uh, joy to people. Um, God really loves that, you know. Um, not everyone uh, encourages people. Not everyone brings joy to people. Um, and he needs um, messengers out there uh, bringing his comfort and his joy to people. Um, and you're certainly one that does that. And he's very... Uh, proud of that. Um, you also uh, mentioned that you're a teacher. You're a person who uh, looks into things uh, deeply. Um, you're a person who researches subjects and uh, isn't just happy with, uh, with what is being said. Um, you'll research something uh, more completely and uh, you'll find out the reason behind the reason, you know? I like having a coffee when I do prophecies. Um, you're a person to know, you like to know the reason uh, behind uh, something uh, that was written. For instance, uh, if a if, uh, um, popular musician uh, produced a book, um, the story behind my stories, that would be the first thing you'd go for. You'd uh, read uh, all about uh, the reason why they wrote their certain songs. And I, I read a book like that from a musician called Michael Card, and um, that was encouraging to me. Um, I've also, uh, Matthew West is a musician and he's got uh, videos explaining why he wrote certain songs and the, the story behind the story. Um, so you'd find that fascinating. Um, I, I feel that um, you've got, uh, uh, like uh, you said, you're a teacher. I feel that um, you've got an anointing uh, for, for breakthrough. Uh, I feel that uh, um, there's such a thing called a breaker anointing and I feel that you've got that on your life. I, I feel that um, you can uh, write things and teach things and uh, allow people to have breakthrough in their personal and spiritual lives. Um, I, I feel that uh, not only, um, not only uh, do you have... Um, good things to say but you have the anointing and the power uh, to break the yoke. It, it says in uh, I think Isaiah it says uh, the anointing uh, breaks the yoke and um, I, I'm sure that um, you uh, would um, agree with me that uh, we certainly need the anointing uh, to do things. I just led to this scripture um, um, it's Ephesians 3.20, you know the scripture. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly 
above all that we ask, I think, according to the power that works within us. Um, I just want to highlight according to the power that works within us. Um, that's the anointing uh, that breaks the yoke. That's the anointing uh, that brings the breakthrough. The power that works within us. And uh, God has gifted you with uh, not only the ability to teach, but with that anointing to bring change, to uh, start change in the lives of people and uh, demonstrate change and uh, activate change in people. And uh, he, uh, he uh, wants to use you in that way. In many ways, um, I feel also that uh, you're going to be encouraged uh, to be a forerunner. Um, I feel that uh, Jesus is going to show you things and uh, give you revelation of certain subjects and certain things. And he wants you to run ahead and uh, break open new ground like that breaker anointing. Uh, break open new ground for people to follow in your footsteps and follow in behind. But... Um, the, the uh, forerunner always seems to get attack and resistance uh, for bringing something new and uh, you won't be different. Uh, you'll get resistance. You've already had resistance and a couple of uh, things that you've brought to the body of Christ and uh, you weathered those storms well and uh, you'll weather the future ones well. Um, and uh, the Lord wants to really use you to uh, take his people. I just get a picture of um, Moses uh, leading the people out of Egypt and leading him to um, the, the, the frontier of the promised land. But in my picture I get Moses leading the people out of Egypt into the promised land. Um, and Moses didn't, but Joshua did. But um, I get that picture that you're like that Moses. You're going to take people uh, from, from corruption, uh, from bondage, from legalism, from religious mindsets. And you're going to take them to the promised land of liberty, freedom, uh, and revelation, knowledge of, of Jesus Christ, and uh, revelation uh, uh, in, in um, uh, revelation characteristics and uh, and personality and uh, and living. Um, yeah, so I. I pray that uh, that was helpful to you. Um, I pray that uh, you were encouraged uh, with that. Um, I also, um, just to um, get it up to the 10 minute mark, um, I feel that um, you are also uh, a person who likes to ask questions and uh, you um, you ask the right questions, you ask intelligent questions. Uh, that the the challenge is there's not many people to ask questions of. Uh, there's not a lot of teachers these days that teach in informal settings where you can sit around and ask questions. Um, but uh, you ask God the right questions and uh, you really seek God for the right answers and uh, he's uh, pleased to answer you. He's pleased to show you uh, the answers to your questions and uh, he's pleased to give you uh, directions in life and directions in the ministry and uh, he's he's pleased uh, that you ask these questions and uh, he's uh, overall uh, pleased with you. So I pray that this has encouraged you. Uh, I pray that this has lifted you up. Um, I, I ask that uh, you can listen to this a couple of times and then give me some feedback on the page where you saw it. If you're listening to this prophecy and you haven't uh, received a prophecy from me, you can look down in the description tag and go to that website and request a prophecy from me. Uh, God bless you, Grace, and uh, I hope to read your feedback soon.